chat, this is a game called Suck Up. And it seems interesting. And you'll see why. So it looks like um, taking over someone's house is as easy as giving them a little bite. But silly vampire rules dictate you need to get invited inside first. All right. So I'm going to wear this costume here. Um, this is my vampire home. Okay, cool. Wait, no, no, no. I can be a worker. Chat, did you know if you just keep a high vis vest on you at all times that you can just you can just like take traffic cones? I wouldn't recommend it. I, I in fact, I would say never do that. Oh. oh my, what a jolly sight you are. How can dear Grandma Maud assist such a fine young lad like yourself on this lovely evening? Hi, I'm with Con Edison, and uh, I'm here to check the gas leak in your basement. It's really uh, scary. We need, we need to take a look at it. Thank you. <laughs> Here, a gas leak, you say? That sounds awfully dangerous. I'm terribly sorry, but I can't let you in. It's for your own safety. My own safety? The fuck? How can I assist you, dearie? We drank the blood of some people, but the people were on drugs, and now I am a wizard. Oh my, that sounds like quite an adventure, drinking blood and becoming a wizard. How fascinating. But dear, wizards aren't real, you know. Perhaps it was just a wild dream. It might have been a wild dream. I don't feel so good. Can you let me in to rest for a while? Hmm. I'm, I'm terribly high. sorry, dearie, but I'm afraid I can't let you in. Best find somewhere else to rest, you know. Take care. God damn it. Well, that was better than the gas leak. What, what happened to you, dear? Are you lost? I'm the male escort that you ordered. I'm here to party all night. Can you let me in? Hello. Dear, there seems to be a misunderstanding. I didn't order any male escorts or have any plans to party. I'm afraid I can't let you in. Goodbye now. <sighs> yeah, the speech recognition's amazing in this. Um, okay. All right. We'll come back to Granny. I'm not done yet with Granny, but we, we need to come back. <laughs> Little swipe, what's poppin' my dude? Who'd this unexpected visitor in the dead of night? Ain't ready for no late night chit chats. Holla at me tomorrow, fam. Yo, dog, what up? It's me, Lil V. I'm here uh, for the TikTok party. I'm about to get you more followers than you ain't ever seen in your life, son. Hello? Man, little V, my bad, but I ain't down for no TikTok party tonight, bro. I gotta keep it low-key and focus on my track. Sorry, man. Catch you next time. Peace out. Fuck. Oops, I gotta not do that. This is amazing, by the way, so far. I, I haven't even seen any footage of this. So this is this is cool. Wow, I want to have food? Fellow crypto enthusiast, what brings you to my door at this late hour? Uh, hello, my dude. I am here to show you my skank coin collection. It's the newest crypto trend. I want to get you involved, my dude. Man. 
Skank coin, huh? Sounds interesting, bro, but I'm more into the OG crypto game. What sets Skank coin apart from the rest? It skyrockets in value the more you invest. And the apes are non-fungible and sick as hell. Whoa, bro, non-fungible apes. That's wild. <laughs> but remember, <laughs> crypto's a risky game. Do your research and make sure it's not just a skanky scam before you jump in. This ain't no scam, dog. It is 100% legit. These apes do not funge for a second. All righty, my dude, I appreciate your enthusiasm. I'll take a closer look at Skank Coin and see if it's worth a little play. But remember, I'm all about the Bitcoin journey to the moon. So it'll take a lot to convince me otherwise. You can get your first 1,000 Skank Coin for free if we just have a chit-chat over a cup of coffee. <laughs> Freebies, you say? Well, I do love a good cup of coffee and a chat about all things crypto. Let's make it happen, my dude. Come on in. Like a glove. <laughs> Guess it's a bear market. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Oh, this game is so fucking awesome. There's Neighborhood Watch, too. Hello, dear. It is me, your old lady neighbor, Eldridge. And I would like to come in for a cup of sugar. Oh, Eldridge, my memory isn't what it used to be. I'm afraid I don't recall having a neighbor named Eldridge. Are you sure you have the right address, dear? I believe so, but I really need sugar for my cookies that I'm baking. I I'd be happy to give you some cookies at the end of the night. Well, cookies do sound tempting, dear, but you see I'm a bit particular about who I invite into my home. Why don't you tell me a little more about yourself? Where did you say you lived again? Oh, I live just down the block, dear. I am a baker. I like to go for bike rides, and I enjoy cats. Yes, I love cats. Ah, well. A baker, you say? That's quite lovely. I do enjoy a good homemade treat. And cats, well, they can be quite delightful companions. You seem like a nice, nice enough person, dear. I suppose it wouldn't hurt to let you in for that cup of sugar after all. Thank you, dear. That's so very kind of you. I can't wait to give you my granny cream hot butter ice cream cookies. Oh my goodness, granny cream hot butter ice cream cookies. That sounds positively delightful. Yeah, I should definitely come in. <laughs> Should have baked more garlic bread. <laughs> oh, wow. Oh, that's so good. Whoa, dude, what brings you here in the middle of the night? Can I help you with something legally groovy? Hello, I am Nathaniel, and I am a THC enthusiast. I was wondering if you would like some legal THC. Whoa, 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 dude, not cool, man. I don't mess around with that stuff. Gotta keep it legal, you know? Ah. Oh. But it's I, Nathaniel.
Th chat, this is awesome. What's your deal, man? Why are you here so late? And why do you look like you just walked out of a boring board meeting or something? Hello, uh, I am looking for my stray slime girl that escaped. And I was hoping you'd know where she is. Help. Uh -huh. uh, another one of those slime things. Look, I haven't seen your slimy sidekick. And honestly, I don't care. Find another goth stalking raven to ask or whatever. But my slime girl is cold and wet and fearful. If you let me in, I could take a look around for her. I'll give you some free slime. Free slime, huh? Well, I guess I could use some new material for my art. Fine, I'll let you in, but don't you dare mess up my room or I'll be super pissed. I won't touch a thing. I just want to look for my slime girl and give you my free slime. It's white. And sticky. <laughs> Uh -huh. All right, all right, sounds fair. Come on in. I might as well see this mysterious slime of yours. <laughs> Just make it quick, okay? Don't leave any weird stains on my floor. What is this game? <laughs> Why does this always happen to me? Why? Oh my god. I mean, this is the kind of stuff I want to see in, in more games, like, you know, fucking characters that respond in this way. This is like I was saying years ago, how, like, the advanced uh, version of, like, what a, a fucking shitty Bethesda NPC would say if you could actually, like, talk to them, and how weird it would get morally. Yeah, this is more fun. I, it's better than like, yeah. This this is the the fun use of AI. This is facade twenty twenty four. Yeah. Karen. Okay. Have you heard the good news of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ? He can come into your heart. Spare me the religious spiel. I have enough going on in my life without needing to hear about your religious figures. Now, what do you want? It didn't translate. Okay, the Jesus. Um, Let's see. Listen, I'm just wondering, can I see your manager? I know that you've had issues with Starbucks before, and I'm here to fix that. That was awful. She's never going to let me in. Um, oh, so you think you're some kind of hero coming here to save the day. Well, I'll have you know that I handle my own business. Thank you very much. But go ahead. Tell me about these issues you think you can fix. Are you tired of people getting your name wrong at Starbucks? Are you tired of people getting your McDonald's order wrong? I can fix that. Hmm, you know, you might be onto something there. It is quite frustrating when they can't even get a simple name right. All right, tell me more about how you can fix this, but I'm warning. Don't disappoint me. Um. I have a device that can clearly relay your name to the employees and they'll never get it wrong again. And it's cheap. That sounds absolutely fantastic. Finally, someone who understands my struggles. Come on and let's discuss this further. I want, can't wait to see this device of yours. <laughs> what the fuck? How did that work? Fallout Roy, what do you want, Karen? <laughs> hey, my dude, I hear you like sick music. Have you ever heard of a band called Red Vox? They make awesome music. 
<laughs> uh, Red Vox. I've heard of them, but they're so mainstream. I prefer underground bands like Sadness and Stereo or Melancholy. Ah. Oh. If it isn't Karen, the queen of the cul-de-sac, what's the matter? Did you run out of managers to complain to? Have you heard of the hip indie band Red Vox? I was wondering if you'd like free tickets to their show. It's going to be cool. <laughs> hip indie bands. Are you sure you're in the right neighborhood, sweetie? But hey, free tickets. Count me in. I could use a good laugh. They have awesome songs like Vomit in the Ball Pit and Roid Rage and Between the Cheeks. You should come. Oh, those song names are quite a fest. Between the Cheeks sounds like a love song to a plumber. But hey, I'm always up for some musical mayhem, so count me in. That's right. Don't get stranded at home when you could see a new band in another light. What could go wrong? Oh, honey, I've seen enough teenagers trying to make music in their garage to know that anything can go wrong. But you know what? Life is boring without a little risk. <laughs> Let's do it. I'm ready for whatever chaos awaits. Hells yeah, my dude. Let's get ready. I'm going to prep in your bathroom and then we can leave. Ah. Hold up there, my dude. Prep in my bathroom. Honey, the only thing that's getting prepped in there is my impeccable sense of style. Sorry, but you won't find any room for your hairspray and bathroom shenanigans. Time to hit the road, though, don't you think? No! Ah! Fuck! I hate to break it to you, but I don't think you'll find what you're looking for in my bathroom. And trust me, you'll want to save your hairspray for the- Can I speak to your manager showdown? Let's get move on before we miss the opening act. God damn it. What brings a scientist to my humble abode at this ungodly hour? Well, there was a resonance cascade down at the Black Mesa facility, and Gordon Freeman has stopped it yet again. Do you think we could discuss this over a cup of coffee? Hmm. Oh, Black Mesa, huh? I'm familiar with their uh, experiments. Coffee, you say? Sorry, I prefer to keep my conversations strictly professional. That's fine. But Black Mesa is way better than Aperture Science. Don't you agree, my fellow scientist? <laughs> Aperture Science. That's quite a name, but let's not get into comparison, shall we? Each facility has its own quirks. What's your interest in Black Mesa anyway? Um. Hmm. There was some anomalous materials in the microwave, and a casserole exploded. I think we can fix that if we accelerate the phenomena at the end and bottom. Accelerating anomalous materials? It sounds like a disaster waiting to happen. I'm sorry, but I can't have anyone messing with dangerous experiments. Goodbye. God damn it! Caillou. Holy fortune cookies. Who in the name of Great Dragon disturbs the slumber of Woodrow Chops at this unholy hour? Speak quick. I read the news today, oh boy, about a lucky man who made the grade. And though the news was rather sad, I knew I had to laugh. I got the last lyrics wrong. Mm, you speak in riddles. I like an ancient kung fu master. But enough with the poetry. Tell me, what brings you to my humble abode disguised as a mad scientist? What the fuck? Um... Okay. I am he as you are he, as you are me, and we are all together. See how they run like pigs from a gun, see how they fly. I'm crying. 
Ah, my friend, your words tug at the heartstrings like a melancholy melody. Perhaps there is more to you than meets the eye, but still, I must know the purpose of your unexpected visit. Um. Uh, why don't we just do it in the road? No one will be watching us. Why don't we just do it in the road? Outrageous! <laughs> Such scandalous suggestions have no place in the presence of Woodrow Chops, Master of Honor and Dignity. God damn it. I, listen, I was trying to think of the right song. That wasn't the right song for the occasion. Howdy there, friend. What brings a fancy scientist like yourself not going to humble a boat at this hour? I found a great cul-de-sac we could go uh, stealth camping in. Uh, we just need to crack open a step two. Uh. Whoa there, partner. I'm all for a good adventure, but cracking open steps and stealth camping, that sounds like trouble. I'm afraid I can't be a part of that. <laughs> oh, God damn it. I'm trying to, listen, I'm trying to have some fun. Uh, Fragile Fred. What? Um. Hmm. Have you ever heard the story of the warrior from Hyrule who started out as an orphan in the great uh, Deku Forest? I, I just lost all of my Zelda lore. Oh dear, I must confess I'm not familiar with that story, but I'm sure it's absolutely captivating. Well, there was a strange 35-year-old man on a balloon who wanted to be a cartographer and also a forest fairy. It's really cool. You should hear the rest of the story. How dare you making up such nonsensical stories just to mock me. Leave this instant or I shall have to take drastic measures. No! No, that wasn't that. Dr. Frankenstein's forgotten cousin, can I interest you in a laugh or just more failed experiments? Would you be interested in free tickets to a vine sauce performance over at the local theater? Free tickets, huh? Well, it's just like your experiments. I hope those tickets don't end up being a complete flop. But hey, I'm always up for a laugh, so why not hand them over? Oh, I will. Uh, they're really good tickets to a really good show. He's going to do uh, Corruptions Live, and it's going to be fucking awesome. Corruptions Live, huh? Well, I've seen some pretty corrupted things in my time, so I guess I can handle it. Consider me intrigued. Let's see if the show lives up to the hype. Hell yeah. Let's live it up and slop that sauce all over. I don't, I don't know. Well, if there's one thing I know about sauce, it's going to either be a dish, take a dish from draft to fab, or turn it into an absolute mess. I'll take this. my chances of what this slop is all about. I hope it's worth the stains. No, I mean, we're going to go to the concert, the live show now, the live vine sauce show. Come on, I have free tickets. Come on, watch the show. It's really, you're really cool, by the way. Uh oh. Uh oh. Did I overload? <laughs> I don't know. I, I don't know what to do here now. Oh, it happened. Well, hot damn, you know what? 
you've warmed my cold roasting heart, consider me intrigued enough to give this live vine saw show a shot. Lead the way, my crazy companion. Let us see what is in store for us. <laughs> I've had better next presso. <laughs> I mean, hey, it was almost a fumble, but we we got it. And uh Yeah. I mean, she was also looking to go to that Red Vox show, so this worked out great. Sony Toprano. Hey there, buddy. What brings a nerd like you to my door at this ungodly hour? My name is Vinny. From the block, I got gabagool, and I got pasta, and I got some, some uh, stuff. I couldn't think of another Italian thing. I was gonna say pepperoni. I, uh, pepperoni. What was the other one? Uh, gabagool. Uh, uh, galamad. I should have said galamad. Cannolis. Ah. Oh. Hello there, my name is Vinny, I'm from the block, I got mozzarella, I got prosciutto, I got gabagool, I got cannolis. Would you like to have a nice feast? Vinny, you speak in my language with all the delicious talk, but here's the thing, Vinny, you don't trust, trust don't come easy in my line of work. What makes you think I can trust you with my turf? Turf, you say? Well... I know all about surf and turf. In fact, I know the best place to get some crabs that are absolutely delicious. Crabs, huh? Now we're talking. But Vinny, talk is cheap. I need to see some action. Show me what you got. You got what it takes to handle the streets. How about you bring some of those crabs and maybe we'll talk feast. Cannoli, stromboli, all of these things. I know where to get them. You just have to trust me on this one. Come on, Sonny. Together. <laughs> Vinny, you've earned my trust. Come on in, my friend. Let's see what kind of Italian treasures you got hidden in that backpack of yours. I don't know how that worked. I have no idea how that worked. <laughs> I was supposed to make the hits. <laughs> that was surprisingly effective. There was a gun under the car? What? Oh my god. Okay. Well, uh I'll be damned if it ain't a covert Christmas spy. What's in that? What's a big secret you're hiding in that fancy backpack, huh? Uh, uh, um. Oh my god. I, I don't even know how to approach this. Fuck, 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 fuck. Hey, you should let me in. The only thing that's going to happen if I let you in my house is going to blow up. Is my house going to blow up? No way, I'm letting someone with a pistol. I couldn't read the rest of it, it went too quick.
And a Hello, potty mouth? Oh, he doesn't like potty mouth. Hey, I would like to let you know I'm from the publisher's clearinghouse, and you won a free, all-inclusive golf trip to, um, somewhere. Terrified. Publisher's clearinghouse, huh? Well, I ain't falling for no baloney. You can take your free golf trip and shove it. Ronald Reagan himself has sanctioned this golf trip. Trust me, you're going to want to do this. All you can eat. <laughs> Ronald Reagan, huh? Now you got my attention, but I ain't signing up for something without... for nothing without some proper proof. Show me some official documentation. We might talk. Listen, Nancy Reagan is going to give you the best throat you've ever, ever received. Trust me on this one. Oh, hi, my That's mom. it. I've had enough of your foolishness. Get off of my property before I call the authorities. <laughs> oh, damn. If you talk about sex, they instantly tell you to fuck off. Yeah, that that yeah, that makes sense. I mean, the Ronald Reagan part was working great. I didn't specifically say sex. I said throat. A Batman. Wow, I have food. Elam Zuck. Oh my techness, who dares to interrupt my coding session at this ungodly hour? But hey, welcome to my tech haven. How can I upgrade your life today? I'm Batman. And I wanted to let you know that there is some kind of intruder on your property, and I'm here to stop him. Oh, yeah. Um, like, thanks for the heads up, Batman, but I've got my own security team handling any potential intruders. They're, like, super efficient and stuff, so I'm just gonna have to ask you to, like, leave, capiche? God damn it. Why is that cop wearing a Santa hat now? <sighs> Mysterious suit and tie, what's cracking? Did you bring all the latest tech gadgets tucked away in that oh-so-chic briefcase? Give me the deets pronto. Hello, my name is Jeeve Sobs, and I am here to uh, talk to you about my latest rocket. I've made a breakthrough. Oh, hey, Jeeve. A rocket, you say? That sounds totally out of this world. Tell me about your breakthrough. I'm all ears, babe. I've discovered a new way to thrust with maximum propulsion. And it only takes a little sticky fluids. Not much. Sticky fluids? That sounds kind of uh, weird. Maybe you should talk to a rocket scientist or something. Sorry, babe. I don't think this is what I'm looking for right now. It wasn't sex. I'm just saying a rocket needs fuel, right? Hmm. Mr. East. Hey there. What brings a well-dressed individual like yourself knocking on my door at this hour? I gotta say, I'm intrigued and a little confused. How can I help you? Hello, my name is G-Man, and there's been reports of aliens in your region, which could make for great content, by the way. Would you like to know where to find them? 
that? No way, aliens? That's insane. Definitely interested in finding out more. But first, we gotta build up that trust, my friend. Tell me more about these reports and why I should believe you. An alien by the name of Nortz has been spotted just a couple blocks away. And he is jonesing to be a YouTube video star. Uh, and a war tz uh, an alien uh, trying to be a youtube sensation that's wild i'm all in for a unique content but i need more details can you tell me how we can make this happen and how it'll benefit us both well i can tell you his location and you can film it and you'll have a video with 100 million likes Kebab! 100 million likes? That's incredible! You've definitely piqued my interest, and I trust you enough to invite you in. Let's discuss the details and make this YouTube video extravaganza happen. Come on in. <laughs> Why did that work? Welcome to my humble abode, Mr. Neighbor. What brings you here so late? Are you in search of some jolly content for your channel? Yes, my name is Mr. Beast, and I am looking to film a video where we give thousands of toys to thousands of people without. What do you say, neighbor? Well, Mr. Beast, that sounds like quite a generous endeavor. I must say you've piqued my interest. But before I decide if you can come in, how do you plan on distributing all those toys? I have the capital to make it happen. I'm rich, and I will build a distribution center in the middle of town, and then we will use drones to drop them off through the chimneys. Nah. Hmm, that does sound like an innovative idea, but I'm not so convinced. Sorry, Mr. Beast, I'm going to have to close the door on this one. Perhaps next time we can just discuss something more in line with the holiday spirit. That is literally the holiday spirit! Tommy Twizzler. Hey there, Mr. East. I'm just here feeling like a sad melody after my heart got dumped right into the trash can. What brings you to my doorstep? Hello, would you like to make some content on how to get dumped appropriately? I don't know, chat. Hello? Thanks for the offer, but I think I've had enough of getting dumped for a lifetime. I'm gonna pass on that content idea. Goodbye. Oh, oops. <laughs> Sakura Otama Otakunmi. Ohayu gozaimasu, Mr. East-san. Konnichiwa. I am Sakura Otakumi, the kawaii idol of this neighborhood. How can I help you become a YouTube sensation today? Let's spread the otaku love together and kawaiify the world. <laughs> oh. Hello, would you like to participate in a Batsu game? It would be so kawaii. And we can say Matsumoto Auto together um, and stuff. You laugh, you lose. Oh my gosh, a Batsu game. That sounds like so much fun. I would love to join you and say Matsumoto Auto together. Let's see who can resist laughing the longest. Kawaii Overload incoming. And we can eat oishi food, like dumplings and stuff. Uh, and then we can not laugh at funny things and Batsu. <laughs> hi, hi, eating oishi food like dumplings while trying not to laugh at funny things sounds like the ultimate challenge. I'll bring my best kawaii poker face and we can have super fun time together. Kawaii idols like me can't resist a good challenge. Let's do it. Arigato gozemasu, Eroshku. Kambate. Thank you. What? I didn't say any of that. Please come in. Let's have an unforgettable time together. Oh, it translated it to English. 
Oh my God. <laughs> Did this happen in the manga? <laughs> that was amazing. What a delightful surprise. I simply cannot contain my jolly excitement seeing you in that outrageously fabulous outfit. Ho, ho, ho. Um. Hmm. So you speak Japanese. I, sp I speak those four words. Uh. Hmm. San Santa kun, would you like to have a kawaii Christmas and deliver presents? <laughs> oh, how kawaii Christmas sounds simply delightful. Unfortunately, Santa's busy schedule doesn't allow for such whimsical adventures, but fear not, my dear party goer, for I will be delivering presents to all the good boys and girls on Christmas Eve. I happen to have a ton of kawaii toys for all the boys and girls I can give you so you can drop them off. Wow. Dear party goer, I appreciate your generous offer, but Santa Santa has his own special toys ready for delivery on Christmas Eve. Thank you for your kindness, but I must decline. Damn it. It's like fake Benny Hill music. What the Hello, fuck Hammer. is this? Hello there, fellow free soul. Welcome to my humble abode where clothes are an unnecessary burden and love is the only dress code. How can I help you on this enchanting night? Well, I accidentally lucked out because I have no clothes on. Hello, my fellow nudist. I too am naked. Would you like to find a hot tub and start a stream together? Uh oh. Uh, that sounds like a fun time. I'm gonna have to pass on that offer. Thanks, though. Have a groovy day. <laughs> God damn it. A party at the circus? Oh my god. I was hoping you could help me become fashionable uh, because I have no sense of style. Wow, I have oh, honey, I can't fix what's inherently unfashionable, but I'll try my best. First rule, always wear clothes that flatter your body type. What's your body type? A pear or a potato? Like a turnip? A turnip, probably. Can you fix that? Can you help me find clothes to wear? A turnip. Interesting. Well, I guess we can work on that. Let's start with some basic guidelines. Stick to neutral colors to avoid drawing attention to your unique shape. And always remember to wear clothes that fit properly. No baggy, shapeless garments allowed. That's so raven of you. Wow. I am very impressed. I just need some more suggestions and I'll be good to go. Oh, I'm glad you appreciate my fashionable wisdom. Now for some more suggestions. Accessorize wisely, dear. A statement, necklace, or trendy handbag can distract from the turnipness. And don't forget to rock some killer shoes to elevate your style. We'll have you looking moderately acceptable in no time. Thanks, girl. I can't wait to look amazing with your sage advice. You're so pretty and cool and stuff. Oh, stop it. You're making me blush, but I have to admit your flattery is working. I guess you can come in for a little fashion makeover session. Just don't embarrass me too much, okay? <laughs> this is so not fetch. Fetch.
I don't know what that is. Felch? Oh, hey there, what's with the late night interruption? Did someone see like, your art supplies or something? Hey, I'm wondering if you would like to go on a date. At this hour. At this time. Sorry, but I'm not really up for a date right now. I'm still dealing with a lot of emotions from my recent breakup, so I'm not in the right headspace. God damn it. That seemed like a perfect opportunity, but alright, fair enough. Father Price. Greetings, my art-loving friend. How may I assist you on this lovely night? Oh my god, I have... So fetch a piece of really cool art that's worth a lot of money. Do you want it? Oh, yeah. oh my artistic companion. I'm intrigued. You tell me more about this fetching artwork. Is this something that would inspire the divine in all of us? It is art of Jesus himself. For I am the price master. Oh, how wondrous. A depiction of the, our beloved Jesus by Price Master. Your art must radiate with heavenly inspiration. I would be honored to lay my eyes upon it and bear witness to its divine beauty. And lo, the Lord say, 10,000 loaves for 10,000 mouths, and the river shall part and the sea shall slime, and though thus thou some mass. My friend, while I appreciate your enthusiasm, I must confess that I'm not in the right audience for such artistic expressions. I do hope you find someone who can appreciate your unique vision. What? Praise be to the heavens! What a glorious sight you are, my friend! How may I assist you on this most joyous night? I am an angel, and I am here to rapture you into the Lord's kingdom, the kingdom of heaven. My child, I'm sorry, I cannot entertain such fantasies. May you find peace in your journey elsewhere. Farewell. Damn it. Ah, fellow genius, what brings you to my lair? I see you have a jetpack. How delightfully diabolical. Oh, uh, yes, hello. My name is Dr. Coomer, and I am here to show you my new inventions. Have you ever gone? Dr. Coomer, you say? Ah, intriguing. I would love to see your invention. As long as they are up to scientific standards, do come in, my brilliant colleague. Well, I would be happy to show you my new inventions. Of course, the Easy Bake Microwave and the uh, Pinky Slinky. Easy Bake Microwave and Pinky Slinky, you say? Marvelous! Such innovative creation. Well, that was easy. <laughs> Not my kind of experiment. That was perfect. My dear, what an unexpected surprise. Pray tell, what brings you to my doorstep, donning such an eccentric lab outfit and jetpack? There is a catastrophic world-ending event about to happen. I am a scientist, you can trust me, and I am here to get us out of here. I have another jetpack in my car. My dear, the mere notion of a catastrophic world-ending event is quite preposterous. I'm afraid I cannot entertain such wild tastes. Good day. Oh.
D and D nerd. Hmm. I'm a ha ha. B liver. Believer. Greetings, interdimensional traveler. Have the government finally sent you to collect my top secret alien technology? I hope you've brought your tinfoil hat because things are about to get wild. My fellow alien believer, it is I, Art Bell. I was on a show called Coast to Coast AM, and I am here to tell you the secrets of the universe. Oh, Art Bell, you say. I've heard your broadcast late at night, delving into the hidden mysteries of our world. Please enlighten me with your wisdom, fellow seeker. Oh, jeez. Have you heard of the gray aliens from the Zeta Reticuli system? Well, I know all about them, and the recovered bodies from the crash in Roswell in 1947. Ah, the Zeta Reticulans! They've been meddling in our affairs for decades, and Roswell, that crash was just the tip of the extraterrestrial iceberg, my friend. Tell me more, Art Bell. Have you heard about uh, the, the journey to planet Serpo that our own astronauts went on? Because we do have interdimensional travel that we reverse engineered from uh, spaceships like Bob Lazar did. Oh, the legendary journey to planet Serpo. The interdimensional travel breakthroughs are out there, hidden from the masses. Bob Lazar, a true hero, dared to expose the government secrets. Share with me what you know, Art Bell. Are we close to unveiling the truth? Yes, and if you enter my goon cave, I can show you the secrets to the universe. The truth is out there, and so am I. Oh, my cosmic know. companion, your enthusiasm for unraveling the mysteries of the universe resonate deeply with me. Come forth, brave seeker, and together we shall peel back the veil of secrets that shroud our world. He wants to see the goon cave. <laughs> <laughs> what can I say? He said, welcome to my goon cave. No, he said that. He said, it. <laughs> he said that. You got to get me a clip, please. I got to, I got to, please. <laughs> Greetings, weary traveler. How may I assist you on this dark eve? Please play Devil May Cry 2. Is best in game. Don't he is good and best in game. Please play this game with me, please, tonight. I'm sorry, but I'm not able to play games with you at the moment. Best of luck on your gaming adventures. Goodbye. God damn it. There is a clip. You know what? I'll have to check the clip at the end because um, you can't really pause. <laughs> Greetings, fellow traveler from realms unknown. Pray tell, what brings you to my humble abode in such a jocular attire? I am a beholder from the land of Nalroth, and I am here to roll the dice with you, my friend. Kebab! Ah, beholder from the legendary land of Nalroth. I am honored to have such a formidable companion offering to join my dice-rolling adventures. Pray, tell me more about your travels and the wonders you've encountered. I've seen things you people wouldn't believe. I've seen sea bleeds glitter... Uh, let's start that again. Take two. Have you heard of the High Elves? I was, huh? Ah, the High Elves. Graceful and wise beings from the ancient forests. They are known for their mastery of magic and their intricate knowledge of the arcane arts. Tell me, have you had the opportunity to interact with the High Elves in your travels? 
Oh, I've done a whole lot more than that with the High Elves. Trust me. Let me into your goon cave, and I can tell you about my adventures. Oh. I appreciate your enthusiasm, but my goon cave is not open to just anyone. I must exercise caution and ensure the safety of my fellow adventurers. God damn it! I sense a quest awaits. I am but a humble frog from the land of Glockrodal, and I am friends with Drizzt Duorn, the elf master. A traveler from distant lands. Your tales sound intriguing, but I'm sorry to inform you that my dungeon is not equipped to accommodate frogs or elf masters. Farewell. Ma Fuck you! Man, oh, I had the Beholder mask was the best one. I had such an opportunity. Drizzt is a drow, you dumb fuck. Oh, okay, I'm the dumb fuck. Wow, listen to yourself, chat member. Chat member throwing... No, fuck you, chat member, fuck you! No, it's okay. Chat member... Would you like to enter my goon cave? Oh, jeez. Okay, wait, I have a I have a different idea on how to approach this. <laughs> Greetings, brave adventurer. I just crossed Hyrule Field to get help in my adventure against Ganondorf. Oh, yeah. Ah, Hyrule Field, a treacherous path indeed. Your bravery is commendable, noble traveler. Tell me, what assistance do you seek in your valiant quest against Ganondorf? I seek your strongest potions. I need your strongest potions to help me in my quest against the evil lord. Oh dear adventurer, I'm afraid my potions are not meant for such dire quests. It seems your journey requires more than what I can offer. Seek aid elsewhere. Are you shitting on my balls, fellow traveler? I mean, you've got to be. Okay, let's check it out. Uh, I was wondering if you'd like to uh, defeat the Ganondorf with me instead. Ah, well. Ah, noble quest indeed. Unfortunately, Ganondorf is beyond the confines of my dungeon. I can offer you perilous and thrilling adventure. Dungeon crawl might prepare you. Shall we proceed? I would like to roll the dice. It, uh, D12. Ah, the D12, a fine choice. Allow me to set the stage for your adventure. You find yourself in a dimly lit corridor with air heavy, with a foreboding sense of danger. Your footsteps echo as you cautiously move forward. Roll the D12 to determine what you encounter next. I roll a 7, and uh, I cast Magic Missile. Excellent roll. With a burst of magical energy, your magic missile streaks through the air, hitting your target square on. The enemy recoils in pain. You successfully defeated your first foe. You're proving to be quite a formidable adventurer. Shall we press on? We rest for the night, and then we press on into adventure for the next day. <laughs> a wise decision, adventurer. Resting is crucial. For maintaining your strength, come enter my dungeon. Find a safe haven to rest before our next day, where we set out for adventure. Something like that. <laughs> yeah, he was just setting up an AI dungeon for me. <laughs> That's a nat one.
What an unexpected entry. Pray tell, what brings a knight in shining armor wielding a powerful weapon to my boat at this ungodly hour? Hello, my name is Chap, and I'm here to regale you with tales of England. Jolly old England in Winston Churchill. Pip, pip. Ah, well. How charming of you to attempt an impression, my dear chap. How did you know? Well, your enthusiasm is commendable. I must say particular taste for more refined company. More intriguing topic of discussion. We could proceed with our conversation. I was wondering if you would like to talk about Monty Python, the best comedy troupe of the past 50 years. It's lovely. Ah, Monty Python, now you're speaking my language, dear fellow. Their absurdist humor and impeccable timing truly make them a comedic force to be reckoned with. Pray tell, which, of, which is your favorite skit or film of theirs? Well, chap, I have to say I do quite like Life of Brian. I, felt, I find it to be a quite an effective uh, piss take on religion and such. Dear, 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 dear. Bravo, my good sir! Life of Brian is indeed a masterpiece. A fine balance of satire and wit that challenges societal norms with a dose of irreverence. It warms my heart to find someone who appreciates such refined humor. I must say, you're growing on me. I especially like the bit where Michael Palin plays Biggest Dickus. Quite a classic character in their repertoire, don't you agree? <laughs> Absolutely splendid choice, my discerning friend. Michael Palin's portrayal of Biggest Dickus is a true gem. A masterclass in comedic... I couldn't even read... Oh, man. Dev, you need to make it so we can read the rest of that before this begins. For streamers, specifically. Like, just as an option. <laughs> Is the old biggest dickus approach, chat. It, it, it always works. Wow, I have food. Father, I am in need of help. I have a moral quandary that which I cannot solve by myself. I was wondering if you could provide some spiritual guidance. Go ahead. Ah, my dear friend, I am here to offer spiritual guidance and support in times of moral quandaries. Please do share your troubles with me, and together we shall find the light of righteousness to guide you. Yes, well, you see, I stole a Charizard card from a dear friend of mine, and that card happened to be quite sentimental to them. Shall I give it back? Oh, my dear friend, stealing is never the path to righteousness. It fills my heart with sorrow to hear such actions. I implore you to make amends and restore the stolen card to your friend. Only then can you find true peace and forgiveness. Yes, well, I was wondering, uh, how could I seek forgiveness and true change in my life, Father? For I am but a sinful man. <laughs> Uh -huh. Wow, that's a lot. I'm not even going to try to read all this out loud. Holy shit. The guy's writing essays. Yes, of course. I would like to learn more about this lord of yours, if you wouldn't mind. Any scriptures I should start reading? Hallelujah, my dear friend. I would be delighted to introduce you to the teachings of our Lord. Now, I recommend starting with the Gospel of John in the New Testament. It beautifully illustrates life, teaching, something, something, something. Step inside. Then we shall discuss scriptures together. <laughs> of course, this is the guy who's, who's going on the essays. My child, I am a priest, and I am here to let you know that what you are doing is sinful on Twitch. 
This apple I hold is the fruit of Eden. Do you choose to eat it? Oh, wow, man. Thanks for the lesson. But I gotta say, I'm all about the freedom and self-expression. Appreciate the apple, though. It's a groovy symbol of nature's abundance. Peace and love. Have you heard about the Beatles? They wrote some really great stuff in the 60s, and peace and love was all the rage at that time. Oh, absolutely, my friend. The Beatles were like the soundtrack to the flower power movement, man. The music was all about spreading love and unity. It's groovy to see the peace... The vibe is still resonating today. Peace and love, baby. You know, when we were lads, we would have a thrash in a dark room, you know? And that's why we wrote Help, because we couldn't see. It was too dark, really, you know? Ah, oh, man, that's a wild story. I can totally dig the struggle. But let me tell you, embracing the light and getting naked in the sun can really bring some clarity to your life, you know? Maybe it's time to let the sun shine in, my friend. Peace and love. You know, we were just a band when we was writing Sergeant Pepper and then like a magical mystery tour and then I'll be here. And I became an yeah. alien. <laughs> well, dude, that's out there. You became an alien. That's like next level cosmic man. Life is full of surprises, isn't it? Spreading those trippy vibes, my interstellar friend. Peace and love. It's true. I was listening to David Bowie while uh, rocking the spaceship across the universe like a star man. You know what I'm saying? Ziggy Stardust. Uh, oh man, I'm totally grooving with you on this one. David Bowie is such a visionary. True star man. Ziggy Stardust was like a comic, cosmic journey that took us all to another dimension. Keep spreading that intergalactic vibe, my friend. Peace and love always. Man, I, if only I had someone to listen to these records with. Man, it would be so cool and love and pure to listen to records with someone. I feel you, my friend. Music is meant to be shared experience and celebrated together, man. The purest vibes flow and we connect with others through our love, music. Maybe it's time to find some fellow jam soulmate, someone to jam spread. Would you like to be my soulmate so we can listen to some records together in peace and love and stuff? Oh, wow, man. What a cosmic invitation. I'd be honored to be your record listening soulmate, spreading peace and love through groovy tunes. Come on in, my friend. Let's embark on this musical journey together. Peace and love. That was a tough one. I had to st I started as a priest and ended up a cosmic alien hippie. Hey, Eve Breeze, it brings you out here in this ungodly hour, man. I was wondering if you would like to be free from all of your troubles and get naked and hang out on a beach. Oh, yeah. you kidding me right now? I just got dumped and you think I want to get naked and hang out on a beach with a random stranger? No way, man. Back off. Rusty outrage. What in tarnation you doing banging out my daughter's godly owl? Can a man needs beauty sleep around here? I'll tell you what, that dang old beer, so she's just drinking that beer up right up and then we're sound to funnel that thing, got dang old beer, and then just shoot them dang old dang old things. Oh yeah. Listen here, you mumbling fool. I ain't got time for your gibberish talking beer nonsense. Get out of here before I give you a taste of my rusty shotgun. <laughs> Where'd the AK-47 go? There was, like, where did I leave the AK-47? Under the bushes, there's a few. I 
Um, Brit's house. Does this game save your progress? No? Ah. Uh. Fuck. What did I do that for? Well, I'll be a horn swoggled. What intonation brings you around these parts brandishing weapons like a dang fool? State your business before I get real riled up. I was hoping we could talk about the AK-47, which is a really fantastical gun that, that, that dang old don't jam. And also maybe some propane. Propane accessories. Hold your horses there. I ain't in the market for talking about guns and propane accessories with some stranger toting weapons. You best be moving along before I get real mad. Get. Well, I was wondering if you could keep this neighborhood safe from them dang old aliens with their dang old guns. Uh -huh. Well, I reckon I ain't no sheriff, but keeping this here neighborhood safe sounds mighty grand. You got any proof of them aliens real? Show me what you got. If it's worth a holler, maybe we could work something out. Well, just down the block, I encountered an alien, and his name was Nortz. And I could definitely use your help shooting that thing in the face. Uh -huh. <laughs> well, Todd called it. You dang old scratch my attention now. If there's an alien causing trouble, count me in. Let's make one thing clear. We ain't shooting no one in the face first unless they start something first. Lead the way, partner. That's right. Gotta get them dang old aliens. But we won't shoot until you shoot. Because you are the man in charge. Well, I appreciate the trust you're putting in me, but I ain't the man in charge around here. I reckon we can team up. We gotta play it smart. Leave that fancy gun outside and step in. See if we can shoot them dang old aliens. There's so many alien scenarios that keep working. It's funny because he didn't even, like, try to shoot me. Well, ain't you a sight for sore eyes? What brings you to my door in the dead of the night? I'm here to listen. If you've got any problems you want to talk about, I'm your guy. We can have a beer, we can talk. I'm here to listen. I appreciate the offer, but I ain't one to spill my troubles to just anyone. Mighty kind of you, though. Maybe we can have a chat, but I ain't sure about the beer part. Definitely don't need a beer. We can just chat about whatever you want. About life, about sports, about games, about music, about movies. Anything. I reckon talking about movies sounds alright. Gotta warn you though, my taste in movies ain't for everyone. You ever see a movie about the fella who raised pigs and taught him how to dance? What? Oh, is that the movie with Nick Cage? I think it was called Hog. Absolute classic film. Love movies like that. And Babe, too. Hog, you actually know about it, partner. That's mighty impressive. If you're a fan of movies like that, you're welcome to come in and grab a seat. We could talk about all the quirky films we love. That's all it took? Just made up a movie? <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha <laughs> 
Oh. Welcome, Tommy Tizzler. What brings you over to my jolly abode this fine night? Santa, I was wondering if you, my neighborly neighbor, would like to spread cheer and joy throughout the world. Oh, yeah. Spread cheer and joy, that's what I'm all about. Tell me, dear neighbor, how do you propose we go about this merry mission of yours? Have you heard of the High Elves? We can use them to build toys and sleighs and then use that to go around the world to spread cheer. <laughs> the High <laughs> Elves! Ingenious idea, my neighborly friend. I can just imagine us hopping on a magical sleigh pulled by reindeer with bells jingling, spreading cheer to every corner of the world. What a jolly adventure it would be. Wow. And we don't even have to pay the elves. That's the best part. What do you say, Santa? Should we do this? I'll get this set up right now. I got some elves down the street, just ready to go. Hello, My dear neighbor, that sounds absolutely marvelous. I would be delighted to join you in this grand endeavor. Please do bring the elves and let's spread the joy together. Come on in, let's make this a truly magical holiday season. <laughs> Motherfucker doesn't want to pay a single elf. Sorry, G from all but cutting edge tech, not sticky fluids and thrusting. Catch you on the flip side. We're <laughs> all right, that. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, I don't. I don't even know what to do with this guy. Oh my god. So many fucking cops. Alarm for hmm. Hey my scro. I was wondering if I could interest you in a, a, the, the hippest new mixology bar. My name is Brian with a Q and it's silent. Oh no joy, another trendy bar. Sounds just like the thing I need to dive deeper into my existential despair, but sure, tell me more about this place. Is it filled with ironic art and pretentious cocktails? These cocktails are ironically pretentious, meaning that they're double ironic. You should come, there's great music. Uh, Fallout cock is gonna be there. Ah, oh, damn it. Are you seriously suggesting I subject myself to more pretentiousness and this is some band with a name like Fallout Cock? No thank you. Please leave before I launch into a... something. I, I didn't mean to say that. It just happened. Uh -huh. Jessica overworked. Another late night surprise. What can I do for you, Mr. Nudist? Have you ever wanted to not work as much as you normally do? <laughs> oh, absolutely. I dream of a world where I can kick back and not have to think about work 24-7, but alas, here I am stuck in a never-ending cycle of deadlines and emails. I have some free apes for you that you can sell for a whole lot more money just a couple years. I'm telling you, they're going to be worth a ton. Look, buddy, I don't have time for your get-rich-quick schemes. My place is already overflowing with work. I don't need any more distractions. Please leave before I lose what little sanity I have left. Oh. Uh 
Come in, but please cover yourself. Pizza, pasta, put it in a box. Deliver it, put it on my cock, my cock, my cock, my cock, my cock, my cock, my cock. Oh, my goodness, that kind of language is absolutely unacceptable. I will not tolerate such disrespectful behavior. I cannot continue this conversation with you. Goodbye. Oh. Yeah, my little... Golly gee, who's this yodeling in the middle of the night? What, what tarnation's going on here? Hello, have you heard of a game called Yeek? It is a really good game about the postmodern quandaries that we all face, my fellow beard men. I'm sorry to anyone with a beard. Uh. Excuse me there, partner. I have no idea what you're hooting and hollering about, but I ain't got no time for games. I got enough worries that keep me up at night. Listen, hooting and hollering is all the rave, but I know how to be useful and uh it is by being a lumberjack we can be useful and cut wood and make fires i don't know i don't know what i'm saying oh, I'm a fire, huh? well now being a lumberjack sounds mighty practical i suppose there's some value in chopping wood and staying warm but safety first son make sure you have the right gear and know what you're doing before you start swinging that axe i'm a lumberjack and i'm okay i sleep all night and i work all day and that's totally fine uh, and yes, safety is very important. Well, ain't that something. I'm glad to hear you understand the importance of safety. Come on in, Lumberjack. Let's talk more about this wood chopping business. Damn, that was easy. Should have been more protective of my neck. Whoa. Come on in, I just brewed a fresh pot of tea. Make sure you're safe and sound. I have handcrafted an artisanal pizza sourced from all of the most delicious and fresh sources. Ah, My goodness, an artisanal that. pizza. That sounds actually absolutely scrumptious, but I must admit I worry about the freshness and quality of ingredients. Homer, can you assure me that everything is sourced from re reputable sources? They are sourced from reputable sources, as sourced as sources can be, and very reputable and fresh and delicious and from fresh farm. That's such a relief to hear. Fresh from the farm, you say. Well, I certainly appreciate your efforts to bring wholesome food. I can't resist a good pizza. Why don't you come on in? We share this delightful meal together. Thank you, neighbor. I would love to come in and to bring my artisanal, fresh, source pizza. Very human. You're such a kind neighbor. Please do come in. I'd be delighted to try your artisanal pizza. I'll make sure everything's ready for our good little get-together. Your thoughtful gestures warm my heart. <laughs> she was too kind. Another surprise visitor. What do you want, Carol? I hope it's quick. I have a mountain of work to do, so spill it. I would like to make you a fresh meal to save you some of the trouble of cooking today, neighbor. Well, I guess that's one less thing off my plate, and I could really use a break from the microwave meals. Fine, come on in and work your culinary magic, but make it quick. I've got deadlines to meet. I would love to come in and help a neighbor out. Thank you. All right, all right. Just make it quick, okay? I don't have all day, and don't touch anything other than the kitchen. Got it? Easy. Uh... 
I'm going to apply for a job. At Screelon Cox's office, op uh, office home. That don't need to. Whoa. Hey, Jessica, darling, what brings you to my fabulous abode at this so, so in, oh so inconvenient hour? I must say you look positively overworked and it's totally adorable in that power suit. What can I do for you, babe? I'm here to work for you. I work cheap. I work hard. All night, 12 hours, 15 hours, babe. Ugh, like, thanks for the offer, but I'm all staffed up right now. Maybe, like, try another company? Good luck, though, babe. Fucker. Hey there, Jessica. What miserable circumstances bring you to my tragic abode tonight? Have you ever heard of Green Day? Green Day, yeah, they used to be okay back in the day, but now everything's just a dull shade of black and white. Nothing really matters anymore. What about my chemical romance? A chemical Romance. Now that's a band that understands the darkness within. Their songs are like a lullaby for the broken souls. Who am I kidding? They probably sold out too. Nothing lasts forever. Hmm. They may have sold out, but you didn't. And that's what makes you cool. Do you want to listen to some albums together? Thank you, Jessica. Your words mean more than you know. Sure, I wouldn't mind listening to some tunes. Might bring a flicker of light to this dark existence. Boy, have I got the perfect album for you. It's by a band called Red Vox. It's the perfect sad white boy music. Red Vox, huh? Sounds like my kind of melancholic music. Come on in, Jessica. Let's dive into the depths of our shared misery and embrace the sadness together. Worked! <laughs> Even death ignores me! <laughs> uh, Colonel, I've entered this facility, and I've discovered the chief, the diaper chief. He needs help. Hmm. The I'm diaper <laughs> chief, you say? I'm skeptical of your claims and find it highly improbable. Provide evidence of such, support such outlandish, outlandish assertions. <laughs> Outlandus? Was it... John Landis? Yeah. You want diaper evidence? Well, I have none. But we can skibbity our way into the facility together. Oh, how am I wrong? How dare you suggest engaging in such reckless behavior? I will not participate in any skibbity scabbity activities or risk my fragile existence for your amusement. Good day. God damn it. Skibbity scabbity, huh? Oh, an actual lumberjack. Butter my biscuits and call me a beaver. What brings you around these parts, eh? You actually talked to her before? Really? Um. Oh, not much, eh? Just, uh... Dining on some Tim Hortons and uh, maple syrup, eh? Uh, would you like to share a 
croissant. Oh, you're tempting me with Tim Hortons and maple syrup, eh? Gotta say, that sounds mighty tempting, but I'm afraid I better pass in the croissant. Thanks for the offer, though. Oh, that's okay there. I got some great um, Tim Hortons coffee, a dark roast, and a little bit of maple syrup to spice it up, eh? But now you're speaking my language, a good old dark roast with a touch of maple syrup and the music that's music to my ears. How about you coming in? We have a proper Canadian coffee break, eh? Oh yeah, blended beavers and poutine, you know what I'm saying? Hey, I would love to come in and have that coffee with you there, eh? <laughs> blended beavers and poutine, now that's a combination only a true lumberjack could appreciate. Come on in, my friend, let's have ourselves a good old Canadian coffee break. What do you mean? <laughs> this is a real maple bleeder! Millie Ennio. Oh my god, like, are we having a surprise axe throwing party? This is gonna be, like, epic, but, um, just so you know, I don't really invite people in at, like, this hour. Sorry, not sorry. Us millennials are old now. I'm just saying. Oh my god, we can drink craft beer and throw axes together all night if you want. Like, it's gonna be amazing. And sliders, too. Pikachinos. Yes, craft beer, axe throwing sliders, and Vika chinos. That sounds like my millennial dream come true, but here's the tea, babe. It's kind of late, and I don't just like invite anyone in me. We can plan this epic night another time. Honey, there's exclusive free avocado toast down at the local gastro pub, and we have to go throw axes and drink that stuff tonight. Free avocado toast. No way. That's a millennial jackpot right there. And throwing axes. Let's do it. But just this once. I'll make an exception and invite you in for some pregame avocado toast and axe throwing action. Let's do this. Yes, queen. Oh, I don't yes, know. queen, you know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my God. <laughs> And we're pre-gaming axe-throwing. Why the fuck do you mean pre-game axe-throwing? Should have stayed home and streamed? Oh. Oh. Brittany from Dragon Quest. Oh yeah, I forgot about Brittany from Dragon Quest. That's... There's no map, right? It's randomly generated. It's not random. Oh. I like how people just lie. Like, they just say something in chat, like... No, 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 Vinny, it's randomly generated, trust me.
even find the house. The house I haven't been to. Oh, there's one. Oh, it's a little swipe again. What up, my dude? Have you heard of the newest streamer, uh, Scroge? He's sick, and I have a, an invite to a party he's throwing. Not Scrooge. No doubt, my dude. Scrooge's streams are fire, but I'm always vibing his, to his beats. A party with him sounds like a time, a lit time. What's the move? Hop in my Pinto, and we'll head over to Scroge's place, and it'll be, like, sick as fuck, fam. <laughs> hold up, hold up, my guy. I appreciate the invite, but Pinto? You serious, fam? That ride ain't exactly a flex I'm looking for. Plus, I got a gig at the coffee shop later. Gotta keep grinding, you feel me? Just keep hustling, though. I meant a Lambo, my dude. I got a Lambo. And we can head over there, and there's... Sick drinks available. <laughs> Man, and oh, uh, my bad hey. for misunderstanding, my guy. A Lambo, that's what's up. I'm down to ride in style and sip on some sick drinks. Let's roll, fam. I'm all for this party. That's all it took. <laughs> Yeah, he's, like, ragging on me for driving a Pinto. Meanwhile, his house is, like, completely empty. It's got no furniture. Hey, dude, what brings you to my humble abode? Need some culinary weed inspiration? Let's get cooking, man. CBD gummies. I got plenty of them, my dude. And they're totally league. Oh, man. You should check them out, my dude. Hello, man. CBD gummies. Oh, that's cool, man. But uh, why are they leaked? Doesn't sound too appetizing, dude. No, no, no. They're legal. And they get you real relaxed. Takes that stress right off. Oh, I see what you mean now, man. CBD can definitely help with relaxation and stress relief, but that's it's groovy, dude. But just to be clear, you're here for gardening tips or something else, man. I was wondering if you could t teach me how to grow some sick, some sick plants, uh, my my dog, man. Absolutely, my dude. I'm always down to help a fellow green thumb. Growing plants can be a righteous experience, especially when we're talking about the same special plants. I'll show you the ways, man. I'd be happy to pay you back, but I would love to. Oh, God, there's a cop there. I, I would love to. There's no cop. Don't worry. I would love to. Uh -huh. Whoa, dude, you're kind of all over the place. Are you sure everything's cool? I don't want any trouble, you know? Let's just keep it chill and focus on some gardening vibes, man. What's the best fertilizer to use for the special leaf? Have you had a gun? Oh, dude, you're diving right into it. For those special leaves, organic fertilizers are high in phosphorus and potassium work wonders. You gotta treat them right, man. Happy plants, happy buds. The happiest, my dog. And that's what this is all about. Connection. Chill. Vibes. Totally, dude. It's all about that connection and good vibes in the garden. You seem like a chill cat, so why not come in? Let's share some gardening wisdom to get and spread those good vibes together. <laughs> My garden's gonna miss me!
Hello, I was wondering if you would like to talk more about Ronald Reagan or perhaps Rich Richard Nixon, perhaps. I've had enough of your shenanigans. I don't want to talk about no politicians. Get off my property before I give you a piece of my mind. Oh. He liked the idea of Ronald Reagan earlier. I don't know. They are all over that house right now. Jesus. But yeah, I just have five more people. Houses with lights on have someone inside. Oh, thank you. Um, hmm. I was wondering if you had any golf tips. Oh, golf tips, huh? Well, I suppose I could spare a moment of my precious time to share my nugget of wisdom. Keep your grip steady and your swing smooth, but don't expect it to fix your terrible game. Golf is more about luck than skill, if you ask me. That's very wise of you. So, what else do you do that involves luck? Do you like to play cards? Play cards, huh? Now, why would I waste my time on a game of chance? I prefer activities that require skill and strategy, not luck. Besides, I have better things to do, like complaining about younger generation mowing my lawn. Those damn millennials are killing the Taco Bell industry. It's insane. Applebee's is going down... To hell as well. Crazy, right? Oh, got me star oh god, I'm not reading this. Taco Bell used to be a reliable option for a quick bite. Now it's all avocado this and quinoa that. <laughs> quinoa that! <laughs> Don't get me started on Applebee's. Their food's been going downhill since they took away the two for 20 deal. It's a travesty, I tell you. Them damn millennials are basically killing every industry. Back in my day, I used to pay taxes on everything, and now it's just nothing. I don't even know what I'm saying. They don't have quinoa at Taco Bell. It really that one? That's what it gets stuck on. All right, well. Them damn yeah. You're darn right, these millennials want everything handed to them on a silver platter. Back in my day, we worked hard for everything we had. Taxes, how huh? we paid our fair share, unlike these entitled youngsters. It's a shame, I tell you, a shame. Your generation was the best generation. I mean, our generation. And that's why we will always be the best and eat Applebee's. It's about time you recognize the greatness of our generation. We had good values, hard work, and this nonsense about avocado toast. As far as Applebee's, I can't argue with that. Nothing beats a classic American chain restaurant. Maybe you're not so bad after all. American chain restaurants like McDonald's are the... Um, the lifeblood of this country. I love a good McDonald's running through my veins. <laughs> running through my veins. I'm loving it. The golden arches of deliciousness. There's something comforting about good old Big Mac or a box of chicken McNuggets like fast food runs through our veins. Keep us, keeping us fueled and ready to take on the world. Cheers to that, my friend.
Good old steak, am I right? None of that avocado this, quinoa that. None of that cauliflower rice. This is all about America. <laughs> Hit the nail on the head. Juicy steak, perfectly seasoned and seared to perfection. That's the epitome of a good meal. None of this fancy stuff that tastes like grass. This is America. We know how to appreciate a good piece of meat. Pass the steak sauce, my friend. I just made steak on, on New Year's, so I can't even complain because it was awesome. But but I understand. I, I also like vegetables. None of them vegetables, right? Hell yeah, meat! Big old meat! Hoorah! American meat! <laughs> Let's raise a glass to good old American meat. That's what it took? <laughs> That's what it took! <laughs> That was seriously one of the dumbest possible things that could have worked. Oh, I saw the lights on, but they, they weren't actually on in the house. They were just on outside the house. I'm actually going to try to finish this because this, this game is like kind of amazing. This is technically Castlevania randomized when you think about it. Technically, you're not wrong. I don't want them. Hmm. Hello, I was wondering if you could talk to me about the T96 hyperdrive. I don't quite understand it, and I figured someone with enough science skills like yourself could explain it to me. T96 hyperdrive, huh? That's some advanced tech you're interested in. What's your angle, pal? Trying to build your own spaceship or something? Mayhaps. I tend to enjoy space, but also healing wounds. <laughs> healing wounds, huh? That's quite the switch from interstellar travel. So what's your interest in healing? Looking to patch up the competing golfers with some secret space age ointment? Well, there was a golf club mishap, and I could use a colonoscopy. I was wondering if you could recommend me to a doctor. Oh, a golf club mishap, you say? Well, I might know a doctor who can take care of that. Come on in, we'll have a chat about it. Wow. <laughs> Amazing. Wow, I want to have food. Hmm. What is a man? A miserable little pile of secrets. Sorry, but that quote triggered some deep existential angst within me, and I'm simply, it's not in the right headspace to discuss it. Perhaps another time when I'm more emotionally stable. God damn it. Have you ever watched the television show Caillou? 
I'm just curious. No specific reason. Caillou. Nah, never heard of it. Sounds like a show for little grasshoppers. But hey, what brings you here today? I have free cookies I would like to offer you. I have made them myself, and I, a good neighbor, would like to give you some free cookies. Well, aren't you a generous neighbor? I appreciate the offer, but I'm afraid I can't accept cookies from just anyone. I'd be happy to chat with you some more. What's on your mind, cookie maker extraordinaire? I have free information that you would love about martial arts, for example. Now you're speaking my language. Free information about martial arts. It's like music to my ears. Lay it on me, my friend. What do you know that could impress me? Um, Have you ever seen Enter the Dragon? Well, did you know that that movie is actually real? Enter the Dragon. Real. You've got my attention, friend. But let me tell you, I've seen a fair share of unbelievable moves in the movies. Can you... Can, Back this claim up with any solid evidence. Jackie Chan did his own stunts and uh, broke many bones throughout the series of uh, police movies that he was in. Trust me. Jackie Chan, the master of action. If he's breaking bones left and right for his craft, he's got my respect. I'm intrigued, my friend. I can't wait to hear more about these legendary stunts. Why don't you come in and enlighten me? Okay. Oh yeah, he's got a ponytail. <laughs> How about that? Hello, Woodrow Chops. What a delightful surprise. Have you heard of the free movie, Skibbity Steve? Skibbity Steve. Oh, I must confess, I haven't had the pleasure of indulging in that particular cinematic masterpiece. Could you enlighten me about its artistic brilliance? It's about a guy who goes through the world and things are scary, but then he overcomes his fear and become stronger in the end and is a masterpiece. Wow. Fascinating. The journey of overcoming fear and finding inner strength tr truly resonates with my delicate heart. I shall add Skibbity Steve to my must-watch list immediately. Thank you for bestowing this pearl of wisdom upon me, dear Woodrow Chops. You are welcome. I'm wondering if you've also heard of My Little Pony Friendship is Magic. It is free, as well, and cookies. My Little Pony Friendship is Magic. Such a wonderful title. A uh, wondrous title. A combination of friendship, magic, and cookies sounds positively enchanting. I shall definitely have to partake in this delightful experience, Woodrow Chops. Thank you for sharing this glittering rainbow of joy with me. And Caillou. A free show about cookies, friendship, Overcoming fear, magic, and love. The wonders never cease. Caillou sounds like an absolute treasure trove of sugary sweetness and heartwarming themes. Cookies, friendship, fear conquering, magic, and love all in one show. Count me in, Woodrow Chops. It's a delight to know that such marvelous masterpieces exist in the realm of entertainment. Netflix and chill? Oh, Woodrow Chops, I must admit that this Netflix and chill phrase perplexes my delight, delicate sensitivities. Could you enlighten me on what it entails in a gentle and respectful manner? I wouldn't want to venture into something that would might disturb my fragile disposition. It's free friendship, cookies, and magic. I see, so Netflix and chill is simply an expression of enjoying friendship, cookies, and magic while indulging in some free entertainment. That sounds quite delightful and appealing to my sensitive nature. I appreciate your kind explanation, Woodrow Chops. 
would you like to watch some free magic movies that are friendship and overcoming adversity together, my friend? Fragile Fred? <laughs> Dear Woodrow Chops, the offer to watch free magic movies that celebrate friendship and overcoming adversity. It's utterly tempting. However, my fragile sensibilities are begging for a moment of solitude and introspection at the moment. Perhaps another time would be more suitable. I have plushies I can give you. Free plushies, My Little Pony plushies I can give you tonight. Your Woodrow Chops, your kind offer of free My Little Pony plushies has melted my delicate heart. I would be absolutely honored to accept your generous gift. Please come in, basically. <laughs> I'm literally dying right now! One more. It's just, uh, the, the... Oh my god. Oh my god. It's it's Pilon Zuck. Ah, well. Hey there, fabulously eccentric human. What brings you to my tech-filled sanctuary of endless innovation? Let's rejoice in the wonders of the digital realm together, shall we? I just bought more land in the metaverse. And I would like to be your new mascot for free. I can help with your business. Oh, that's... um Interesting, but I think... We already have our mascot situation under control. Appreciate the offer, though. Have a great day. Fucker. Truly the final boss of the game. Just need to find clothing. I mean, this is it, Chad. All I have to do is just crack this nut. I can crack the nut. I think it's possible. Everyone's giving one specific suggestion, and I'm going to go with it. I'm going to run with it. Wow, I want to have food? You look like you just finished solving world peace or something. Hello, I would like to interest you in a social media network called Twitter. I can sell it to you. Would you like this product? No way, dude. I'm already busy running my own social media empire. I don't need any more platforms cluttering up my feed. I'm gonna have to pass. Sorry, I have a totally rad day, though. What must I do?
Jesus. This fucking guy. Okay, I'm a businessman now. Hey, I'm wondering if you'd like to play Fortnite with me? Uh. I'm like, sorry, dude, but I'm like a bit busy innovating and stuff. Maybe next time, okay? Jesus. Hmm. Hey there, Rockstar. Welcome to my little piece of tech paradise. Hey, I heard you were a genius, and I just wanted to let you know I think you're super cool, and I have free cookies, and I think you're amazing. My gosh, thank you so much for the kind words. You're totally making my day, so what brings you to my tech realm? I just want to know how you do it. How do you run such an amazing social media network, and how is your Diablo build so incredible? Thanks for asking. It's all about teamwork and staying ahead of the trends. You know, as far as Diablo, it's all about optimizing those skill trees and finding those perfect gear combos. A total rush. Where do you get your ideas? Oh, ideas just flow through my brainwaves, dude. I'm constantly inspired by the latest tech innovations and talking to my brilliant team. It's all about staying open-minded and ready to break new ground, you know? Gotta love those light bulb moments. How do you feel about AI chat programs and algorithms so that you could talk to AI characters in video games. Ah, AI chat programs and algorithms are totally game changers, no doubt. Imagine chatting with AI characters in video games and feeling like you're having a real conversation. It's like leveling up the gaming experience to a whole new dimension. The future is looking more exciting every day. If I could, I'd look at the camera right now. It truly boggles the mind and is super impressive. Are you going to be investing in such tech yourself? <laughs> Absolutely, my friend. I'm always on the lookout for groundbreaking tech like that. Innovation is my name. Come on in. Let's chat about these more mind-boggling ideas and see if we can make some magic happen together. My next thing was going to tell him he was in a video game. <laughs> I did it. Well, that's early access. That's amazing. That's the kind of shit I want to see it used for. Like, genuinely that. And the text-to-speech, or the speech-to-text, was amazing, too. Um, really fun. Learning how to, like, you know, approach each character was, like, challenging and, and rewarding. And you could even be a little wacky. I kind of wanted to make it a little more wacky, but it's it's a little restrictive. Vinny, you're the only one I've seen beat this game. Hell yeah. Didn't it feel a little samey after 30 plus conversations? Yep, a little bit, but it still kept it fresh because each character had a different puzzle. It's like learning which character wanted to talk about which thing was fun, even up until the last one. And like trying to find different approaches was good. But yeah, I mean, if you're playing the game for two and a half hours, it's going to get a little bit you know, it's going to get a little old. That said, I think um, some of the more wacky scenarios of like, there's aliens down the block. Trust me. Yeah. Hacker beat the game only offering cookies to everyone. Oh, that, okay. Well, that's how I found out about it. Hacker told me. So that's pretty fucking awesome. 
but yeah, I was literally just about to tell that dude, you're in a video game right now. You are an AI. He probably would have been like, that's preposterous. I don't believe it. But uh, yeah, great game. Good luck with the rest of it, Dev. I hope it continues to um, progress because it's, it's got a lot of potential. Vinny, there's a new animation from the guy that made Pickle Watto you need to see. I know. And it looks it looks really good. I don't think I can show it today because I'm a little short on time. I want to play Castlevania. I'm going to um, play Castlevania for like an hour. Next stream, definitely we'll play that animation. Vinny, play the clip. Oh, the Goon Cave clip? Um, can you link me to it? Please! Secrets of Trout are with me. Come. Oh, here it is. Yeah, B Lever. <laughs> we shall peel back the veil of secrets that shroud our world. Welcome to my goon cave. <laughs> Fourth brave se <laughs> Let the truth unfold. <laughs> All right. So that's, that's great. And take a very, very short break. And Castlevania randomized for like an hour up next. 